Okay. Those plans make any sense? Oh, sure. Seems easy enough, I think. How hard can it be? <laughs> but I'll tell you what I think. Just to be safe, I'll do the reading and planning, and you do the building. How did I know you'd try to weasel out of doing any work? Oh, now, that is plain unfair. It, it's inaccurate and not what's going to happen. I'm simply going to use what I've got, which is a brain. Why you use what you've got? which is less of a brain. <laughs> Let's get started. Well, first thing it says, the foundation, which involves moving those heavy wooden joists. Definitely not a job for a man with terminal lumbago, unless you want to dig a six-foot deep hole for me when the work day's over. Don't tempt me. Oh, well, here comes Charles. Maybe he can lighten the mood a little. How'd you get on? I'll be back, but not for a while. Charles, dear boy, John needs help moving these joists. Now, come on. Get a move on. We gotta get started before the rains come. You're very annoying. He's right. We should get on with this.
Let me have a rule and a saw and a board and I'll cut it. Climb up a ladder with a hammer and a nail and I'll nail it. Well, we worked so hard to build a little house together. In the snow or the rain or the ice cold wind, whenever. No matter. Any weather. We're together. I think that's everything. <laughs> John Marston, you have a home. So do you. Oh, I know. And you, Charles, as long as you'll stay with us. Thank you. <laughs> Gentlemen, to this happy home. Well, at least till this fool gets his woman back. <laughs> My darling Abigail, I hope you and Jack are doing well. I remain a fool, and I'm sure I shall die a fool. But I'm trying very hard to be something like the man you deserve. I have done something very silly in an effort to impress you, and that is I've purchased a home. The land you read about in the newspaper up at Beecher's Hope is now ours, and we are going to try our hand at ranching. Mr. Geddes kindly helped me buy the land. I met Uncle while I was coming out of the bank, and while I know your feelings about him, he has been enormously helpful in his own fashion. Charles Smith has also appeared and is unsurprisingly a pillar of strength. Together, we've built you a home. I hope soon to show it to you. I miss you and the boy more than I can express. Please, come back to me. Yours always, John. Uncle, I thought you was... Where the hell? There you are, Missy. Just one time I hope to find you working. Just once. Do you believe in reincarnation, John Marston? No. Well, I hope and pray to whatever is out there that I get to come back as a youngin' so that when you're old and facing death, I can be some 
two-penny slave driver that comes along and hastens your journey into the grave. This is a fatal condition I got. And I'll give you another fatal condition. We don't get on with things around here, and we'll all starve. Get on with what? Farming, ranching, planting something. Well, the only thing that this land's good for is grazing. Grazing? Yeah, so so cows, sheep, goats. Now, goats is easy, but awful. I don't like goats. And cows, I've seen enough cows. Yeah, sheep then. But any livestock, you're gonna need a barn. Barn will take three of us six months to build. Oh, you don't build a barn, dumbass. What do you think this is, 1785? You buy one pre-cut just like the house. This is the industrial age. The lumber fellers all have them. That guy makes me hate the modern world. Oh, come on. I'll deal with them. I can't move like I used to. Then I never was that fast. <laughs> In the black water. Let's go. Now, this fella probably saw you, thought, here's some corn husk idiot, some country rube doesn't know a pre cut home from an outhouse. And I'm gonna rob him blind. <laughs> uh, I gotta respect him for it. Cause if I saw you walk into my lumber yard, I'd think exactly the same thing. Thinking about it? Huh. I might actually do this on my own. Oh, I can't let you do that, John. Let you get robbed again? <laughs> oh, no. You need someone with some sense to negotiate. And some charm wouldn't hurt neither. Uh, and that's you, is it? With your famous way with people? Ah, you're in enough debt as it is. I got to help you all I can. It's my debt. I'll handle it. Yeah, but if they foreclose on the debt, I'll lose my home. And I do so like it there. You like it too much. You're far too comfortable. Ah, you ain't even got furniture. Easy. Many folks about. This is him. And how are we? How's little Emily? Emily? I'm sorry, I've, uh, um, how are you? A barn? Of course you do. All them potatoes. We're gonna uh, farm livestock. What's wrong with you? How many scar-faced loons you got coming in here buying pre-cut uh, homes? Here, uh, what you think? Uh, have a look. <laughs> Maybe that one. Yeah, that We're one. an excellent choice. We have a couple already cutting in stock. I'll have it sent to you in Blackwater. I'm down at Beecher's Hope. Oh, I'm sorry. Of course, this is my wife, Jerry. You see, she's out. But it, it's great seeing you again, Isle. Yeah, it's, and it's you, been sir. a pleasure as always. Great pleasure. Love your work. Of course. How are we going to pay for this? <laughs> Same way we pay for everything. I just wish I could help you, sir. You've been a good customer and I like you, and David Geddes likes now, you. I, I, but this man is very annoying. Can you just give me a few days? Of course. I really enjoy begging and watching you make a fool of yourself. Well, I... John! Hey! Is that Sadie Adler? <laughs> hey. John, how are you? Well, hello, Uncle. Nice to see you. Oh, and you too. Oh, shut up, you old creep. <laughs> Listen, Sadie, I... you got any work? Kind of desperate. Work? Hmm. How desperate? I need money. A bunch of money. My debt's climbing and I... You up for a fight? Is it legal? Well, that's very legal, but it's also pretty dangerous. With you, it'll be fine, but I wouldn't do it on my own. I ain't got much choice. All right, then. Come on. Look after him, Sadie. He's a delicate flower underneath. Tell the bank there's money coming in. And get a crew to help with that barn.
I have it on good authority we can find this bounty at Painted Sky. I know the place. Okay, I'll follow you. Alright, the Painted Sky tip is pretty fresh, but I don't know how long it'll stay that way. An encyclopedia salesman was up there, on the property. Couldn't find the rancher, but saw a Mexican-looking feller hanging around. Now, Ramon Cortez is round those parts, split up from his gang and stuck in West Elizabeth. It's gotta be him, holed up, waiting on some out. And we're gonna get to him first. Hey! Sadie. Hey, so who is this bounty? Ramon Cortez. He's with the Del Lobo gang. Del Lobos? Yeah. You head back down to where we was, New Austin, you're bound to run into them. Oh, I ran into them. Mostly Mexicans. Some of them. But some is Californios. And some are regular Americans, too. They're a misfit bunch. Just like we were. And they're friendly. Real friendly. Oh, yeah. Ugh, it's a bad situation down there. Burnings, killings, you name it. I know something of that. And not much law except the sheriff of Tumbleweed. He's making a hell of a go of it, but there ain't much there to hold back the chaos. It's real wild country. Sounds like he needs all the help he can get. Maybe drop in on him sometime. You know, I had some trouble of my own. That gang you was talking about, was they the Skinner brothers? That's them. They ain't nice. Nice? Weren't what I heard about him. Got a hold of this fella I'd hired. Ah, oh, he didn't die well. Mm, I'm sorry, John. We fought back. We was too slow, was all. I wish we'd done better for him. I'm sure you did the best you could. I've heard, well, oh, the kinds of things they do to men. Unspeakable things. I hope that's the last you see of them. Me too. But if not, I mean to be ready. That is wise. You want to hear something? I built my ranch house. Good for you. Did you make it out of straw bales? No. <laughs> it's one of them pre-cut ones. Me and Charles put it up. And Uncle watched it bark the odd order at us. It's solid, though. Real good and sturdy. Woo! John Marston's got his own house. You should come see it. It's good country, Sadie. Despite all that. I try not to fraternize too much with employees. You know, it sends the wrong message. Oh, that's what I am now. An employee. Mm-hmm. That's what the bank says. Oh. Well, then I guess our fraternizing days are done. Now, be a good boy and get this bounty for me. Yes, ma'am. This is Painted Sky up here. Looks quiet. Ramon Cortez, you better be here. Made it, girl. You search that barn. I'll take the main house. Holler if you get him. We've come for you. Come calmly and nobody will get hurt. Don't fight it. Just drift away. You got him? 
I think so. He just tried to kill me. That's about right. <clears throat> yeah, that's him. Come on. Let's get him to the sheriff. <clears throat> Come on, Ramon. Let's go for a ride. We're going to... Rhodes. Rhodes? It's different there now. Gives me the creeps. Hit your horse up here. Bring Cortez around the front for me, will you? I'll get them ready for you. Come on! I'll give you a hundred dollars to kill that bitch. Two hundred! Three hundred for her head. Be quiet. Mr. Sheriff? Mr. Sheriff, we got Ramon Cortez. Cortez? Sure did. Well done, Hal. Found him hiding in a pile of shit. <laughs> That's about right. <laughs> How you doing, Ramon? Oh, just fine, mister. <sighs> <sighs> hey, how much you want? How much any of you want? I'll give $2,000 in gold to whichever one of you sets me free. <laughs> I'm afraid it's a bit late for that, Ramon. You've been a real bad boy. Me and my boys are gonna ride you into San Denis and watch them hang you. <laughs> okay, okay, if you think so, mister. <laughs> oh, I know so, Ramon. Take a seat. Help me guard them till my boys arrive and we can get them out of here. Sure. Uh, spent years cleaning up this town. Last thing I need is fools like this thinking they can take us back to the bad old days. Well, you did a good job. <laughs> Sheriff Thomas, we want our friend back. You have about 10 seconds, Sheriff Thomas, before we kill all of you fools. One. Don't be a dumb bastard. Two. This is a good town now. Three. Let him have it, boys. Tell them. Cortez, you son of a bitch. If you have the shot to kill that bastard.
He ain't here now, madam. I don't get paid unless he makes it to San Denis. You want to get shot today as well as Rob, mister? Are you threatening me? Why would we bother threatening you? Get him back and I'll get your money. And another $50 besides. A hundred dollars. Seventy-five. I can't go higher. Done. Let's go, Jim Milton. Come on. You're a good filly. Where are we gonna find him? He said there were men meeting him at Dewberry Creek. Let's start by looking there. Sure. You've had some bad luck with bounties being stole off of you. And you're about to have some bad luck with getting punched in the face. He got stole off both of us. Someone must have talked. One of his boys, maybe. We were sitting ducks, waiting all that time in that Jim Crack jailhouse. Yeah, yes we were. I don't like it. The sheriff's done a lot to bring roads into line since the time of the Greys and Braithwaite's, but clearly he ain't done enough. So you think we can trust him? 
Yeah, he'll pay up when we come back with Cortez. He's a decent fella. If we come back with Cortez? We're coming back with him. Don't you worry about that. It's an odd thing, isn't it? We'll take it. $200 from a sheriff who might be crooked himself to go get a bounty. But we won't take $2,000 from an outlaw just to let him go. If that kind of offer is tempting to you, then go right ahead. But not when you're on one of my jobs. I never said I was tempted by it. I just said it was an odd thing. How we take money from one but not the other. Everyone's got to choose what they're loyal to. Sales, God, the state. If a bounty hunter wants to last, the loyalty's got to be to the one that's issuing the bounties. Plain and simple. I got a reputation for honest work. So, everyone with a price on their head deserves it, you think? Sure. No, I don't know. Usually, if I got into who deserved what, second guess every poster, I'd tear out all my hair before I put a rope on anyone. If the price is high enough, you got to trust there's a reason they said it. I hope that rationale works out for all of us. Hold up. Down there. The fire. I'd wager that's them. Stay on the road. Let's find a good vantage point. Yeah! They must be camping down there. Why are they hanging around? Probably waiting for a boat. Uh, there's supposed to be a storm coming through, so maybe that's delayed them? Perhaps. So what do we do now? I'm gonna go get them. You? Me. You just cover me. I ain't getting you killed out there. But it's okay for you? I, I want to die. And besides, those bastards don't look that tough. I they look asleep as far as I can tell. I'm gonna go. You sure about this? Just don't seem right. This is my show, John Marston. Do as you're goddamn told. And shoot well.
coming! Try anything clever and you're gonna get shot! Oh, hold your horses, chica! Get out of there! <laughs> oh. <laughs> I said, get out of there! Easy, easy, girl! Oh, you gave up easy a long time oh. ago! <laughs> hey, look out! There's more of them coming. Hey! Estoy aquí! Shut your gut oh. mouth! Keep coming, all right. Might just be. Son of a bitch. Well, that's that, man. Help me load this fool on the horse. A lot of crazy bastards. Seems Mexico's a tough place. Stow him and we can go. Tell me that again. Too tough for you, John Marston. Ah. I'd stay well clear. It's about oh, time I'm to you, Mrs. this bounty. Adler. Second time lucky. What do you think, Cortez? You got any more surprises up your sleeve? You, you're a dead woman! And you are a dead man! The Belovos will not forgive this! <laughs> Wherever you hide, we will find you! And we will kill you! You! And anyone who is close to you! I preferred it when you was offering money. Oh, you want money? Hey, take my money. I got gold, lady. But you was just saying you was gonna kill me. Oh, you let me go? I'll forget about all this. You see, Ramon, what we got here is a trust issue. Well, I'm good for it. You're tied up on a horse, about to be taken to San Denis to hang. You ain't good for anything. Listen, I swear. Of course, because all you can do is swear. But you're just saying anything you think might get you out of this. Ramon, I couldn't trust you to pay me. I couldn't trust you not to kill me. Hell, I couldn't even trust you to kill me, if that's what we agreed. What the hell are you talking about? I got gold, woman. Mister, gold. Five thousand dollars. Well, I hope you left it to someone in your will. Because you ain't going to find much use for it in the short time you got left. I damn you, woman. Damn you! Oh, I've been damned a long time, my friend. Relax, mister. We ain't got far to go. Oh, you made a big mistake. Both of you! You should have took the money. You should have taken it. Now, now we're gonna come for you. I promise you that. We're gonna come for you! Well, I hope they know just where to find me. Because I'll enjoy the fight. I like the fight, Ramon. The fighting. And the killing. Here we are, back again. Looks like. Come on. Big mistake. Real big mistake. We got him, Sheriff. We got him. I knew you'd be back, Ramon. <laughs> just can't get enough of me. Put him in the wagon for me, would you? How's the jail? Needs to get fixed up since this nice man blew a hole in it. Yeah. Me and the boys will ride him to San Denis right away this time. Come along, Cortez. Sheriff, before you go... I'll pay you when I deliver him. Plus $75. Exactly. Now, goodbye. Let's go, boys. I'll see you soon, amigos. Shut up. <laughs> Thanks for this, John. You send my money to the bank for me. Of course. I'm supposed to be retired from this. This? Or nothing. Just a simple arrest. Money for old rope. If you say so. See you around, partner.
How was your holiday? I was making money. And to think, you call me lazy. You've done a great job. Well, that crew did help. The house, the barn. Look at this place. <laughs> I can't believe it. Thank you. Thank you both. This calls for a drink. Young Miss at Dancing School has taught the minuet to tread. Young Miss at Dancing School has taught the minuet to tread. But we go better when we brought our four-tack to Cathead. Come bustle, bustle, drink about, and let us merry be. Our can is full, we'll pump it out, and then all hands to see. When horn and hounds the forest rend, his pack the huntsman cheers. When horn and hounds the forest rend, his pack the huntsman cheers. As loud as halloo when we send a broadside to Mount Sears. As loud as halloo when we send a broadside to Mount Sears. Come bustle, bustle, drink about, and let us merry be. Our can is full, we'll pump it out, and then our hands to see. What's got at sea we spend on shore on sweethearts and our wives. What's got at sea we spend on shore at sweethearts and our wives. And then my boys hoist sail for more, thus passes sailors' lives. And then my boys hoist sail for more, thus passes sailors' lives. Come bustle, bustle, drink about, and let us marry be. Our can is full, let's break it out, and then our hands to see. Yeah! <laughs> John! Get out here! Uncle's gone! He's fine. Let me sleep. Get out here now! <sighs> that fat man will be fine. No, he won't. Skinners. You think? Of course. My guess is they went that way. But my other guess is they know we're coming after them. What choice do we have? None. <whistles> we just gotta keep our wits about us. We know this is a trap. <clears throat> Let's go. Yeah! I tracked them to the road. We'll pick up the trail there. Shit. It's like we forgot about them. Should have been ready. It happened. There's nothing we can do except try and get him back. We let our guards down for one moment. Hush. Up here. You see that? Blood. Dear Lord. They've gone up towards tall trees. Come on. John, look. We should agree on something. If it's really bad, this might not be about saving it. What the hell are you talking about? If it's really bad, it might be better to stop the pain. Jesus, you mean to... I mean, you can live a week without a scout, but it ain't a good week. A gut wound, you can live a month, but it's horrible. What they've done to him might have killed him already, with only hurt to come. We get him, and we see, okay? We'll make it his call if we can. Did you hear something? Yeah. You think they saw us coming? I don't know. Guess we'll soon find out. We'll be better off going on on foot. Okay. Leave the horses in the trees there.
Up there, to the right. Two sp Skinners. Lookouts? Probably. Take one. I'll take the other. They're down. Move. They were waiting for us. Uncle should be close. He better be. Keep your head. We'll find him. Come on. Where are you going? Hold. Patrol to our left. from the ranch they'll come this way we should have burned it while they slept the burning's better if they're awake for it he's old and sick he won't last long then when they come they'll come for a corpse he was talking about uncle he's alive mm. come on they've passed let's go There. It's dragging someone. Is it Uncle? No. Some other poor bastard. Let's follow. He might lead us to the camp. <laughs> Keep on him. Stopping. What do you see? He's picking up. The poor bastard's dead. If he's walking with the body, we must be close. Let's take him down before he gets to the rest. Take him, John. see something. Uh-huh. Yeah, that must be their camp. What do we do? Let's get up on that boulder. Take a look. <sighs> Hang in there, old man. Okay, okay. I can't see much through this mist. Can you look too? Hold on. We gotta go get him. Careful. Where are they? Where are they? I don't care. Come on! Uh, Charles! Uh, 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 behind you! Come 
Behind the road! Ah. There! They came from the old dog! We're pushing up! Here just in time. God damn it. I'll carry him. Come on, Uncle. Come on. Ready? Too close. Got him? Because here come the rest of them. Quick. There's more. Thank you, boys. Don't mention it. I thought I was dead. Uh, don't get all sentimental now, old man. You know, I really think you're dying. It's gonna be okay. A few days, you're gonna be just fine. You're a survivor. Easy, easy. Okay. He'll be fine. You think they'll be back? Maybe, but I doubt it. We must have killed most of them. Now, this is your land. Was it theirs once? I don't think so. I met a fellow said the Skinners rode down about two years ago. 
They're just angry men on a rampage, and we got in their way. Sort of like we used to be? Yeah, exactly like we used to be. Maybe we should take up torture. <laughs> uh, we got Uncle singing instead of torture. We're gonna be safe here, John. Hmm? Yeah. You, your family, you all be safe. I hope so. I really do. If she ever comes back. I... He always did have that fine way with words. You doing all right, son? Sure, Pop. Can I go see the house? Sure. Just give him some time. He'll warm up. It's quite a place you got here. It's yours. Ours. I should see about that boy. Who's my new rival? Oh, that's Rufus. He's loyal, dumb, and angry, so he reminded us of you. That's your idea of a joke, miss? I guess. Come on!
So you happy? I think so. <laughs> and I did good? You did good. So... <laughs> am I forgiven? <laughs> Never. <sighs> you are a hard woman. <laughs> Ma! Pa! Come out here! Sadie! <laughs> You're alive! John, it's... Sadie Adler. <laughs> Well, how'd you know she was... We... I'm... Sorry, I you thought I... You well. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm so happy. <laughs> uh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but tell me about you, darling. No armed to the teeth like that. I'm a working woman, Abigail. I'm a bounty hunter, bodyguard. I protect the gold prospectors up in the hills. I'm thinking of starting my own transportation business. I was thinking... Maybe if John wanted to earn some money. My husband, uh, he ain't looking for that kind of work. Took on a lot of debt when we bought this place. And you're working for her to pay it off? Yes, sometimes I was. But I thought we said no more of that. No, you said that. What else am I going to do? I'm a goddamn man. It's legal work, Abigail. And I never got killed. It's hunting down fools for the government. Easy. Even Jack could do it. Don't you put those stupid ideas in the boy's head. He's going to do something better than this. Like what? Writing silly stories? I'm sorry, Abigail. Really, I am. I just thought if you wanted to earn some money... How many times do I got to bury you, John Marston? Never. You ain't never burying me. It's legal work that I can handle. There's a... There's something else. Micah? Bounty hunting is one thing, but goddamn Micah? I heard he was up country, or some fellow who sounded just like him. Killed a family, bar a little girl who escaped. Leave Micah alone. Listen, I'm sorry, Abigail. I came by because I was riding by chasing a fella, and I thought John wanted to earn some extra money. <sighs> what is it? Abigail, we need the money. Some fella robbed his business. You know, an accountant or something. Came down from Rhodes, I believe. How much does it pay? It pays good. Well, the soft ones usually do. Okay, then. I guess. But Micah? No. All right. John Marston, let's go. Just you bring him back to me. You hear? Of course. Hey, lady. Say your goodbyes, John. Get your horse and let's go. You ready? Follow me. We're going up into tall trees. Yeah! Hey. It's nice of you to stop by and see the place. Finally. Abigail's back with the boy. You must be so pleased, John. And the ranch? You were right. It's really something. I think I'm gonna ask her to uh, marry me. I got a ring. It was... It was Arthur's. I found it in a bundle of things that I've kept. You're marrying Abigail. Or it, asking her, at least. Oh, my. I never took you for a romantic. No, me neither, but <laughs> it's something I've thought about, and I, I think, I know, I want it. Okay. I guess I thought you were married already, long ago. No, not really. Not officially. Well, 
I'm real happy for you, Joan. Being married, it made me real happy. We're cutting off the main track up here. My man's in need of post. Take a look around. Something's been here. This... This looks... Looks like a bear or something came through here. <sighs> the fella left in quite a hurry. Here. Oh, he was from the south, whoever he is. Then maybe he's our man. If you ain't become some bear's lunch. Yeah, it looks like they went this way. Him or the bear? <laughs> Both of them. It's that way, I'd say. Great. Can you see which way he might have gone? Okay, I think I got him. Follow me. up here. like a local farmer to me. I don't know what's left of one. Is it gone? You, Marshal Thorwell? That I am, ma'am. I'm here to arrest you on behalf of the state of Lemoyne. You're wanted for theft, fraud, and avoiding arrest. Is the monster still out there? No, I think he's gone. Come out. Come on. Don't shoot. <laughs> Keep walking. <laughs> Come on. I'm coming. Look out! Oh, <laughs> 
think he's gone. Oh, fucking monster. Thurwill! Get out here! Before I come in there and kill you myself! I, I, I'm coming. Pathetic. Waiting to see if that animal ate us? No, ma'am. That weren't it. Yes, it were. Come here! Come here. <laughs> Thurwill. Call yourself a man? Well, it's like Abigail says. That's one word for you. I can't believe we didn't kill that bastard. Gave him something to remember us by, at least. You all right, John? Yeah. Ah. Just... <laughs> We always find a way to almost get killed, don't we? Mm-hmm. That's kind of the problem. Maybe it wasn't right of me to bring you along on those really heavy things. Family man and all. Seeing all this, I don't know if I can do it again. I'm my own man, ain't I? I get to make those calls. I needed the money. You are your own man, sure. But I'm my own woman. And I get to say who I ride with. And I don't know if your ranch and your kid and your wife are things I want to be worrying about when I hear a gunshot. Yeah, fair enough. Those are fine new clothes, by the way. <laughs> yeah. I spend my cash on... Who's this up here? Is that... Are you Sadie Adler, ma'am? The bounty hunter? Get off the road! Look, I got great respect for you professionally, but if that's Marshal Thurl there, uh, me and my partner would like to split the reward. We're doing what? Get off the road! We was thinking you might need protection. I look like I need protection? Uh, me and my partner, we're dead set on splitting that reward. And if not, well, we said we was going to have to take all of it. Drop him! Oh! Ah! Keep on, aren't you? Huh. You don't mess around, do you? Let's go. Them bastards was green. If we didn't get him, someone else would have. This is a cold business, ain't it? Yep. It does require a certain level of detachment. You ever think if it's right? No. I just see orders on the wall, and I try and fill them. And if there's other bastards after the same orders as I am, I get competitive. It's called industry. And if you ain't noticed, everyone is out there doing it. I guess they are. Uh, you said earlier you knew something about Micah. You gonna tell me what you know? Are you sure you want to hear about it? Ain't all that back at your ranch enough? If I find him, I will handle it. Your bounties or transport work, that's your decision to bring me along or not. But, but Micah, that's something we, well, I, I gotta do, with or without you, Sadie. Morning. You know what I mean? Okay, okay. I know. Well, I'm hearing things. A lot of things. Still, mostly just whispers, but I think you might be pretty close. When you hear something real, you bring it to me. Okay, I'll bring it to you. But you think about if this is what you really want. Everything you can get, and everything you could lose. Here, put him down. Go on, get home to your wife. I'll let you know if I hear anything about Micah. You need a hand taking him in? Him? <laughs> no, I'm fine. You sure? Yeah, I'll send your share to the bank when I get paid. Thank you.
How you getting on, son? Uh, fine, sir. What are you doing? Reading. And, uh, playing with the dog. You wanna go fishing or something? Not particularly. I don't really like fishing. You do like eating, though, right? Cause we gotta find some food. Come on. Let's head this way to the stream. Okay, sir. Why you gotta be like that? I'm sorry. It's okay. Do you wish I was more like you? Like me? No. But... Let's keep going. Can Rufus come fishing? Dogs scare the fish. But... If you'd like him to, I guess. So, you don't care if we don't catch fish? Yeah, I... I'm not very good at this. At fishing or walking? At talking with you. But fishing will be fun. Sure. Unless you want nothing but beans again. No. I'd like to fish. And... It'll be pretty fun, I promise. Okay. It's fine being out with you, even though I can't say the right thing. And you, Pop. We should... Let's do more of this. Sure. I, I mean, yes. I'd like that. Pretty countryside, ain't it? I guess. Grass and the light. There's a lot of ugly in this world, but sure as hell is a lot of beauty. Yes. You'll see it better when you get older. It's tough at your age. Just land and light. But to me, it's... It's... It's life. I... I can't explain it. Okay. What are you gonna be when you're older? I want to travel. See the world. That's a good idea. Then, become a lawyer and, and help people. That's not a lawyer, that's a... Are you laughing at me? No. Never. Just... Whatever you do, do it better than me and your mom. We had it. However we had it. We didn't make the most of it until now. Okay. Okay. I guess I didn't expect it to be so far.
This spot close? This is a real good fishing spot. Folk always say that, and hours later they've caught nothing. Ain't you just the leading authority on everything? Well, ain't it so? Well, maybe. In this case, it's true. I hear there's some real big fish in here. Big old steelheads. Hard to catch, but real good eating. Hard to catch. Get your excuses in early. That dog of yours know he's owned by a complaining know-it-all? Come on, son. I'm sorry. No, you ain't. It's all right. Come on, let's fish. Uncle Jose, he was the fisherman, wasn't he? That's right. I remember Uncle Arthur taking me, though. Arthur taught you how to fish now, did he? Huh, yeah. I suppose he did. That's nice. I got a bite. I got a bite. All right. Now, stay calm and start reeling them in. Not too fast. Want to set the hook in tight. He's... he's strong. Good. Now, reel him in. Stay calm. Give him a tug. Now reel. I got him! <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? How do you feel? <laughs> I don't... I feel... I don't know. Thanks, Dad. I told you this was a good fishing spot. You did. Hey, my trip with Arthur, I remember now. I picked some flowers, and a couple of men showed up, dressed like they was from the city. No one like that's gonna show up here. Thank the Lord. Where's Rufus? I don't know. Relax. He's a dog. Where is he, though? I don't know. I'll go find him. Rufus! Come on, boy! Rufus! Here, boy! Let me come help you look. Rufus! Now where's he got to? Jack! Come on! Dad! Please come here! Rufus! Rufus! No! It's a snake! I see. He bit him! Calm no. down, boy. And Jack, you calm down too. Come here. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do, Pa? Get the poison out! Dad! Rufus! No! Don't swallow it! Keep going! He's gonna die! He's gonna die! He'll be okay. We just gotta get him somewhere warm and calm. He's gonna die. Go get the fishing rods and the fish. I'm taking the dog home. Abigail! Can I get a hand? What, what's going on? Dog got bitten by a snake. Let's look after him and the boy. Grab his rug. Is it gonna be okay? Jack, the dog is gonna be just fine. We never should have gone fishing. Sometimes, sometimes, you just don't know how things are gonna turn out. But, but the dog. The dog's gonna be fine. It's okay, son.
Look at me. Working the white man's not for no pay. I will let this happen. Look, if if you need money, I'll get you money. <laughs> I'm just joking with you. Right now, this is good for me. And I know you do the same. You say the word, I'll be there. All right. Good boy, Rufus. Woman was a damn sight more peaceful round here before you came back. You're just lucky I'm a soft touch. I should sling you out by your ear. Ah, you always was a cold-hearted lizard of a woman. And you always was someone willing to live off the efforts of others. It's walk or work, old man. I got long. You'll have more than that in a oh, minute. Oh, John, tell her about my health. Do what the lady says. I worked my fingers to the bone building this place, Abigail Roberts. Marston! Abigail Marston, Miss Marston to you. Miss Marston, do you? Why you let him stay? He's actually been pretty useful in a useless sort of way. Who's that? No idea. Friend or foe? We'll soon find out. It's the Gettys boys. From Proghorn Ranch? Yeah. Mr. Milton! Mr. Milton! Duncan! Sir, Ma found some old furniture in the attic. Pa thought maybe you folks would want it as a housewarming present, you know? Uh, they send their regards. Uh, how kind they are. Tell your mom, Paul, we're very touched. Where would you like the furniture? Uh, just over here. <laughs> then we can arrange. This is real kind of y'all. You saved the ranch. Pa said this is the least he could do. Well, that's about everything. <laughs> send your Pa my best regards. Tell him he's got friends for life in me and my family. Bye, sir. Ma'am. I can't believe this. It's so kind. Sure. But there's still some more things that we need to get. How about we take a ride into town? It's been ages since we spent any time together. It has. Let's go get the wagon. Okay, let's go. I feel like we ain't done nothing together like this since... Since, uh... Since forever? Maybe not forever, but a long time. We ain't had the time, you know? We've both been working hard. And now we got something to show for it. The ranch, Miss Life. It's so nice, John. May I help you, my lady? <laughs> oh, no, John. There were some things we still needed. We can buy them from that catalog. Let's go have some fun. I know your idea of fun, John Marston. <laughs> I ain't had a drink and, well, I left those things behind me. No, I mean, good. Wholesome fun, like uh, decent folk have. We decent now? I guess. <laughs> well, decent or not, I still got some errands to run. That's fun. What would you like to do? Maybe get our portrait took, for starters. Portrait? There's a feller in town takes photographs. 
You want to stare at a portrait of yourself all day long? I hate to break it to you, but you ain't that much to look at. No. I want a picture of us. Me and you. Okay? Okay, then. Sure. Is there anything else you want? I don't know. Let's just walk around and see where it takes us. I do have to be back by dinner time. Uncle Jack and Charles will manage fine without you. Hell, looking after themselves may even be good for them. <laughs> They'll starve. And that may be good for them, too. With any luck, Jack and Charles will eat Uncle. <laughs> don't get my hopes up. <laughs> so maybe you're right. We'll stay. You know I am. Okay, then. Portrait it is. I'll just put us here. Let me help you down. Why are you being so courteous? I don't know. <laughs> there you go. I'm gonna head to the Drapers for a minute. Won't take long, but I need to get some materials. You wanna come with me or wait here? And after that, we can go get our photo taken? Yeah, after that, we can get our photo taken. All right, let's get that picture taken. It means that much to you. It does. Today it does. You're acting kind of funny. I am kind of funny. <laughs> A different kind of funny. Am I a Oh, and you? No. I like this version of you. It just... It just ain't you. Well, maybe I've changed. Finally? I don't know. Probably not. Come along with you. You really are acting funny. Are we doing this? Oh, hello, madam. Sir. Hello, sir. How can I help you? We're... We'd like to get our photo taken. Oh, a photo. Yes, yes, that I can help you with. Yes. So... Uh, what do we do? I'm sorry, what did, what did you want? Uh, okay. our portrait taken. Oh, well, we do that. Yes, wonderful. Handsome couple, quite something, but you need a background. Background? Yes. We have Niagara Falls, Paris by night. <laughs> we have Mount Vesuvius and its ruins. We have the open prairie. T take, a, take a look. Pick one. What do you think? Let's see the others. Just pull the lever there to release the next one. How about this one? It's dramatic, ain't it? Let's see what else they got. This is pretty. Or spooky, maybe. Let's see everything. That's nice. It's like being back home. Was that all of them? This is, uh, mm, this is a bar. Surely there's a photograph of you in a bar already. Look, this was your idea, John. It's up to you. You've seen all of them. Anything you like? Ah, this one. Wonderful. That will be simply perfect. You know, I wish I had the Congo River but they require grass skirts. I couldn't afford them. It's just so exotic. You stay there. I'll make a pose that you feel comfortable with. Well, this is dignified. <sighs> Try to enjoy it. I think I'd rather be cleaning the outhouse. Be quiet. I thought you were a cowboy, not a poser. Oh, no. I'm a poser. I learned from the best. That is true.
lovely. Oh, I like it. That might be the one. Excellent. Very good. Quite a pose. You've done this before. How's this? Bravo! Now, give me a minute. I'm going to develop this for you. Wait here. Take your time. <laughs> what? Nothing. Nothing at all. Tough guy. Gunslinger. Excuse me? <laughs> Nothing. I didn't say anything. I just posed. Shut up. <laughs> you know, you're not very nice to me. Oh, I'm nicer than you deserve. <laughs> True. <laughs> here. Came out beautifully. <gasps> sure. <laughs> yeah. yeah oh, look at that face on you. Be quiet. <laughs> what do I owe you? Five dollars. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. I'll see you again. Oh, yes. He'll probably come in for a pose. He seemed to enjoy himself. <laughs> Bye now. <laughs> What shall we do now? There is one thing I hadn't done. I've never been to see one of them moving picture shows. Never? No. Well, come on. Let's go do that. You sure? Of course. It's the marvel of the age. I love marvels. <laughs> okay, good. Well, let's go. Come in. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> What's playing? Something called sketching for sweetheart, I think. Oh, hello. Two tickets, please, to see sketching for sweetheart. That'll be 50 cents, please. Okay. What's it about? I have no idea. Thank you again. Come on in. A mystery awaits. It's just incredible. It's like they're really there. Hey, I'm trying to watch this. John Marston. <laughs> That's women for you. Don't you dare, John Marston. What? I'm watching. Please. What are you doing with that arm? I thought you might be cold. John, shh. Looks so real. It's not. Don't be such a sour puss. Shh. <laughs> Stop it. She's a piece of work. Really? Is it over? I think so. Come on. Be seeing you. All right. <laughs> we better get home. <laughs> oh, we never get out. The farm will be fine. <sighs> the farm.
farm. I love hearing that. Let's go down to the lake for a minute. The lake? Sure. <laughs> Why, you finally gonna drown yourself? In a manner of speaking, I guess I am. <laughs> Happily so. You're acting real strange. <laughs> no, I'm not. Come on. You're a silly man, John Marston. What, a, what about Jim Milton? Oh, he's even worse. Let me help you in. <laughs> like I said, mighty strange. I like to row. <laughs> Since when? You can hardly swim. I don't plan on capsizing. I wonder whose boat this is. It don't matter. We'll have it back. I hope they don't think we're... They won't think anything. Don't think. We're borrowing it. I hope it don't got leaks or nothing. She's seaworthy, okay? <laughs> Relax. Look around. All I can see is a strange man rowing. I thought it was John Marston, but... Now I suspect he's been replaced with an imposter. Don't look at me, look at the sky. The water. <sighs> Here's good. Ain't it pretty? What is it? Will you... Will you marry me? Get up. I am married to you. No, I mean proper. In front of God. You serious? I got this ring. I've had it for a long time. Take it. You serious? It would make me very happy. If you would... We've lived a lot of lives. Let's just live this one from now on. You and me, Jack, a family, by law. John, I... I never... I didn't know what mattered to me. It didn't. But now it does. If you think this is dumb, I'm... I'm sorry. <laughs> Shut up, you silly man, and kiss me. <laughs>
Slow now. Hi there, come on in. Good morning. Yeah, así es la vida. <laughs> 